Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Anecta University, which is a, a portion of Anecta, it's a, it's a part of what we do, uh, is going to have a boot camp. Uh, it's a Dynamics NAV boot camp. So in the video's description, this video, uh, there is going to be a link. So go ahead and click on that link if you're interested in this uh, and you can sign up. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug Tutorials. Uh, today we want to keep going on bank reconciliations and actually automatic uh, connections to bank. Uh, previous video I connected to Yodly, uh, which is an automatic service. And now transactions are flowing back and forth, and we're going to just keep going on that. And if I go here into bank accounts, there's one thing I didn't go into last time and maybe went quickly through, but like um, we link these bank accounts to uh, a bank account uh, out in the, you know, on the cloud, um, basically through a service called Yodly. And I can go ahead and hook up another bank account very easily. For example, if I go here into create new linked bank account, it connects to Yodly and then asks me, okay, which one do you want to connect to? And as long as I have credentials to log in, like for example, here in American Express, I can just log in and connect it like that, hook it up to a bank account in an AV and keep going. So it's fairly simple, really actually like this user interface. Okay, so bank reconciliations, let's do a bank reconciliation. This video is about that, so let's do it. Um, now, if I go here in the bank recs, hit new, bank recs are a little bit different than they used to be in uh, older NAV. So I'm just going to pick the uh, bank account to do a bank rec for, and it brings up uh, this screen here, where I have on the left hand side, I have the bank statement from the bank, and the right hand side, I have the bank account entries that I have so far in an AV. And the goal of bank recs is to make sure that these match. Uh, so the bank is always tied to what's in the system. And uh, so instead of typing up the bank statement here, which I obviously could do, uh, I can just go ahead and import it since I'm connected. And I'm gonna take for a full year here. Uh, and it goes and looks for transactions in the bank and imports that. Here we go. Now, in order to match these, like which one goes to which, I can manually do that, like select one here, select one here, and hit match manually, and now it's matching it. But it tells me that there's a difference. Obviously, these don't go together. I'm making a mistake here. And the whole goal of bank reconciliations is to make the difference go down to zero here, this column. So I'm going to just remove this. Um, but what about matching automatically? I can just go and do that. It brings me up a table here or a form asking for date tolerance. So what that means is that sometimes you might deposit into the bank uh, a day later than you booked it into NAV or the days can be slightly off. So this is basically saying I'm going to try to find matches, but give me a tolerance on days, maybe um, one day back and forth would be okay as long as the amount matches. So I'm just going to give that. And now it goes through and actually matched out this transaction here perfectly with that uh, transaction, which looks like it's right, um, which is great. So what about the rest here? Now, I obviously have a difference, uh, which I have to do something with. So what I can do is go ahead and transfer that just to a journal. I'm going to get it to a cash receipt journal. Just hit OK. And then I get these transactions here. Uh, I can then uh, put them, I'm actually going to put them on a different document number. It's just a little pet peeve I have. Um, and I'm going to say it's all from the cash account. So we were just, but obviously you could here put up what vendor it was uh, or a customer it was from, uh, etc. So you can tie it properly. But basically, you're just booking the transactions here that you were missing. This could be a bank charge, for example, uh, and then just transfer it here and book it. So I'll post it. 
So now it goes through and then I close it and go back in here. You can see now the transactions came into the bank. So I've booked them and they are in the bank. Now I can just match automatically. Just give one, or actually you could zero would be fine. Now all of them are matched here and all of them are matched here. So, um, so we should be good at actually just posting this uh, bank reconciliation because that's clear as long as you put in the the statement ending balance matching out total balance uh, etc so i hope you learned something from this and this is how easy it is to do bank reconciliations today uh, a lot easier than it used to be uh, and obviously with automatic matching uh, makes it just fantastic so enjoy thumbs up if you like this video and you haven't subscribed subscribe until next time Take care.